Hey guys, we're on the road to Baltimore. Gonna go see the big boat and, and I brought the drone. But guess what? Bad news, rain. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it is misting right now, kind of rainy. Not really drone weather. Well, we'll see what we do when we get up here. Okay, so this isn't good. The uh, guy at the front gate, he actually tried to talk me out of even paying the fee to come in here. He's like, you ain't gonna see it today. The fog is really thick. He said, uh, we had another paper in earlier and they already left, so we'll see. Hey guys, from the shores of the Chesapeake Bay, we are out to look at the boat, the Ever Forward, and it is just right out there. Somewhere. <laughs> it's foggy. Ducks don't seem to mind the fog. So I drove up here to show you the Ever Forward and fly my drone around the ship, and I can't even see the ship. <laughs> Visibility is about a half a mile, and it's about a half a mile out there, and there's just no way, no way at all I can show you the boat today. I can't even fly the drone because of the weather. Um, so basically, we just drove up here an hour for a sandwich. So let's go get the same. So guys, the only saving grace of coming up here is to get some Baltimore pit beef barbecue for lunch. And we're at Beefalo Bob's once again. Ooh, there it is. Ah, lunch. Mm. Mm. I think today I got medium. Last week was medium rare. Memo to file. Check the marine forecast next time you come up here. Save yourself an hour. The cathedral, they've moved out onto this side now. I think that's the space window where there's a piece of the moon is actually in the window. That area is being renovated, repaired from the earthquake about a decade ago. Taking a long, long time to fix this building. So guys, there's the new Australian embassy. Uh, we saw this a few months ago. It was a big hole in the ground. Now it, well, it looks like a building. It's still pretty empty and sparse inside. But this will be the new Australian embassy probably in about another six months to a year. The Australians will move back here. Hey, I see a trucker. I see a few trucks. It's really hit or miss whether you find these guys now at times. There's about six, seven, eight, ten vehicles. Let's go, let's track them down, yeah? I think they got separated by the light. There was a truck, there's the truck. Seven, eight, that's eight. And a truck, number nine. That's about it, I don't see anywhere behind him. It's so hard to catch these guys now because they move in small groups. Before it was a convoy of like 30, 40, 100 trucks, whatever. Now they're like little groups of seven or eight. Yep, and there they are following close behind DC police. <laughs> So it'll be interesting to see what happens up here because up here, the Capitol Hill police have barriers that pop up for our trucks. So not sure they're going to allow the truckers to go up Capitol Hill or not. But hey, you guys will get to see it as I do. Union Station. They're not going to go up the hill because then the Capitol Police would get mad. 
Yeah, I hear whistles already. So back behind the motorcade, there are two vehicles. Well, one's a police, one's a black suburban. Basically though, these guys are being followed no matter where they go. I think they want to go up the hill. Yeah, they're being told no dice. Police are right there saying no way. Well, the truck is being detoured off, but the pickup trucks, they're allowed to go up. But the big semi truck, he's got to swing off to the left there. I, on the other hand, can go up the hill. And I'm in front of this little convoy. <laughs> so this, by the way, is the Dirksen Senate office building. And this is where the Judiciary Committee is meeting right now with this future Supreme Court Justice nominee. Her hearings are being held, but there's no protesters or anything outside. I guess that all happened the other day. Sometimes they just have incidents on buses. Someone gets sick. Yeah, you can see the police are surrounding that bus. Hmm, we can look it up. The fire truck and Metro Transit Police, that's the bus police, are showing up there. I'm not sure what happened if someone got struck by a bus or just some other accident. We'll go up and see OEOB and over here at the tennis court. Flags are at half staff, that right there. Uh, that's for Madeleine Albright, the first female Secretary of State. She passed away yesterday and the White House announced that all flags will be at half staff. Well, that's applying everywhere. Yeah, I think even the Washington Monument. Yeah, the flags at that Washington Monument are also at half staff. So I guess it's pretty much uh, all federal buildings. Hey guys, this is an interesting development. The fence has come down. The fence that has covered this area for a couple years has just been removed. And we can now see what was back there as they clean up. So back behind there, these look like minions almost. <laughs> they're cleaning up, packing up, and looks like they're leaving. a lot of you ask about this there are trees that don't have leaves and there are trees that do have leaves there are evergreens evergreen trees are you know they don't lose their leaves and there are lots and lots of evergreens planted here at the White House in large part due to security concerns now not every tree is an evergreen you can see some trees back there that are you know just now budding and those trees there haven't even started but there are an abundance of evergreen trees here on the South Lawn. Found another one. It's just kind of random whether you see these guys. There's nobody else with them. Just one car on its own. Pretty quiet day out here on the North Lawn. Quite a few tour groups in town, a lot of schools on spring break, but otherwise pretty dead. Pebble Beach is, well, very, very quiet. Most of the correspondents followed uh, the trip over to Belgium, where they handed off to their European colleagues. Not much going on right here. What, do you think I only eat roast beef? Yep, still pretty foggy. And he's gone. <laughs> So over here are some public soccer fields, really, really nice AstroTurf fields. And they're known as Boeing Fields, Boeing Fields at Longbridge Park, and because the Boeing Corporation is located right there. Apparently, Boeing paid, and I'm not joking, 10 million US dollars for the naming rights of this field as part of their community relations. So there are giant Boeing logos on the soccer fields, you might ask. Why would you pay $10 million to put your name on three soccer fields for kids? The answer, the Pentagon is right over there. And every plane that flies in and out of Reagan National Airport goes pretty much right over these fields and the people look down and they see the word Boeing and they buy more Boeing stuff. Not kidding. <laughs>
Hey guys, we're uh, under the flight path of Reagan National Airport out here in Arlington, Virginia. Kids got a soccer practice over there. And well, that was our day today. Pretty, pretty light. Tomorrow will be a little bit more interesting, I hope, if the rain stays away. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll catch you all tomorrow.